Hi, this is Roy Prim, publisher of BlackHomeownerNews.com, and this is your Black Homeowner News Minute. Today we'll talk about the power of reading the fine print. A recent government study revealed only 10% of consumers read the fine print in contracts and agreements. 42% review the fine print in contracts, and a staggering 48% of consumers totally ignore the fine print in contracts, agreements, and warranties. Today we'll talk about the power of reading the fine print. Stay tuned. Many consumers have experienced everything from mild surprise to outright shock from not reading the fine print in contracts. Of course, if more people started reading the fine print in contracts, it would instantly put thousands of attorneys out of business. When you start reading the fine print in contracts, it may irritate a few salespeople, and of course it will definitely irritate con men, but better they be irritated than you. Stick around and I'll reveal the three tips to helping you to read the fine print in contracts. In reading the fine print in contracts, warranties, and agreements is whenever you go to sign a contract or read a contract, read the fine print first. That's right, read the fine print first before you read anything else. You'll notice that the most contracts, the fine print is usually at the end of a 32-page document. This is not by accident. So by the time you finish reading all the other, the other first 32 pages, by the time you get to the fine print, you're usually tired or mentally impatient. So to trump this uh, technique or trick, simply go to the fine print first and read that first before you read other items of a contract, agreement, or warranty. Another stumbling block many consumers experience when reading fine print in contracts is to ask. Yes, this simple three-letter word has saved thousands of dollars in legal fees, months of misunderstandings, and hours of frustration. Any terminology you don't understand, ask. Any points that you need clarification of, ask. From fear of uh, appearing stupid or unsophisticated, many consumers gloss over words they don't understand or terminology that's not quite clear to them. So make this a main point that you come to a conclusion with. When you read a contract and you don't understand the terminology, a word, or point, ask. The final tip today is to get in the habit of reading the fine print. I know it seems to be boring at first glance, but even if you have to review or scan or skim the fine print in contracts and warranties, that's better than not reading it at all. And you'll find that the more you do this, the better and more efficient you'll get at it. Hopefully this has helped you to become a better consumer and to save you hours of frustration, money, and time. This is Roy Prem, publisher of BlackHomeOwnerNews.com, and I thank you for listening.